Today on Smoke and Solder, we're going to look at a new soldering iron here from the folks at ISOTIP. This is the Solder Pro 90 Butane Soldering Iron Kit. There's the Solder Pro 90 right there. You know, sometimes you need to do some soldering and you may not have electricity handy, or you may want your iron isolated electrically. And something like this is a good choice. Let's see what we've got in the kit here. First, we've got the Solder Pro 90. It's a butane powered soldering iron. We can change the tips out by just unscrewing right here, pulling it off, and dropping the old tip out. Slide the new one right in, screw it right back on. The iron comes with three different tips here. It's got the small tip. And we've got one a little bit larger for those larger jobs. We've got a hot knife tip here for cutting plastic. Pretty nice. I haven't seen one of those on a butane iron before. And there's also a heat gun attachment, which is also quite handy. It comes with a little tube of solder here. I'm not sure what this is, if it's leaded or lead-free or exactly what, but a uh, little tube of solder included. And this I have not seen in a butane soldering iron kit before. It's a little sponge to clean your tip with. The first thing we're going to want to do is put some fuel in this. So we'll just get a, a good grade of, well, this says premium butane fuel. Just plug it right in the bottom here. Hold it upside down like this. And when we see butane leaking out around the top, we'll know we've got it filled. Now before I begin, I'm observing that I've got the lever here at the bottom that turns the unit on and off and controls the flow of fuel down to the off position. And I've got the red lever here toward the bottom. You can hear the fuel go in. And we can see a little bit bubbling up around there, so should be full now. I've not used this soldering iron before, so let's just take a quick look at it. As we said a moment ago, a lever here for on and off, and it controls the temperature that you're going to produce at the tip. There's also a lever here that's used as an igniter, so you don't have to have a cigarette lighter to light this with. Typically, they say you'll want to run this control about mid-position, and that's where you should put it to strike the unit. So I've got it in the middle here. If we listen, we can hear that uh, butane's coming out of it, so let's slide the ignition lever up here. I saw a little bit of smoke, and I don't know if you can see it here on the camera, but I can see it. There's a little orange glow right through the holes there. The tip should be heating up now. This has not been used before. Oh, yeah, we can see here on the other side of the tip. Clearly, it's heated up in there. Now, they say in the instructions that you don't have to see the catalyst glow for this to solder, but... Uh, in this case it is, and I, I think that's a good indication. So let's tin the tip. We'll flow a little bit of solder on it. Well, that, that heated up really fast. I'll wipe a little off there. Now, of course, we got to solder something, and I don't have a connector I need to solder right now, so I just twisted up a little bit of wire right here. See how good a job it does. Works just like any other soldering iron. Now to turn it off, we just slide the lever back toward the left. And that shuts it down. Now we should let it cool off before we put the cover back over the end. Things like this are really handy when you're doing work outdoors or in an automobile. 
you just want to be kind of careful that you don't get paper or something around the edges here. Uh, that that could catch on fire, but I've used similar irons to this, not quite this nice for years. And it's really a great convenience because they warm up really fast. You don't have to worry about running an extension cord or charging a battery. It's just there and ready to go. And this one's got a handy little stand that you can sit it down to let it cool off. Or when you're working, if you need to set it aside, you can easily do that. If you need a blowtorch, you just take the tip out. Put the tip housing back on without a tip. Or a nice little sharp flame there. Adjust it down to what you need. And that's a, uh, a nice blue flame. And there's also a heat gun attachment. And there you go, the Isotip Solder Pro 90. You know, I've been without a butane soldering iron for about a year now, and it's really going to be nice to have one of these in hand again. So convenient. You can learn more about this and all the other Isotip products by visiting iso-tip.com.